Okay, um, my name is Cody, and I'm going to give you an update on my Cheetah 3D project that I have been working on. Basically, what I have done with my project is I've made headphones, which you can see here. And when I first started this project, I didn't really know where to start, so I kind of just fiddled with it a little bit. And then I watched videos for like two weeks. But in my project plan, I said I was only going to watch them for two weeks, but now I've learned that I have to keep on watching them because I don't exactly know what I'm doing yet. But... My headphones, they don't look too bad. It was the first thing I ever made, and it's just a picture. I can't rotate it or anything because I didn't make it do that. Then the second thing I did was that I made a little short film. It's in one of these. It's this one. And that, that's not it. Sorry about this, I have to find it. Some of these are just pictures that I accidentally took. Yeah, and I don't know how I took pictures. Which might be it. Yeah, as you can see, I figured out how to make a light. I, I figured out how to make a light move, as you can see. And I have another video, I think it's this. And it's actually of the camera moving with the light so you can get different angles and perspectives. And it's just very basic. I mean, the bottom line basic of the lighting tool and the camera angle. And as you can see, I just dropped a picture down and it's of an apple. And it was the very basic thing that I can do for this. And then, if I can find it, I started to make something else, but I don't know where it's at. I was making a human face, but I can't find it at the moment. But, I. I was working on that and basically what I did was go into, I think it's scene? Yeah. And then you click on the blueprint and um, down here, um, sorry about that. You go down here, you click load, and you drag a picture in there. And when you drag the picture in there, um, it'll pop up, and you can click on the polygon tool, and you can pick a ball or something. And then you have to basically shape it to match what you want to match. I'm sorry, but I don't really know where my human face went so I can't show you it but I followed my project plan well of just basically learning how this all works and I'll keep you posted on my next video